Hi, my name is Obi Mahundro. I'm a second year at the University of Virginia, and I'm a decathlete on the track and field team. And this is a day in my life. Okay, I like to usually start out with a morning workout. I usually focus on three different things. Um, mobility, you know, that's leg stretches. Upper body mobility, so that I can focus on javelin, shot put, pole vault, and the discus. Then I move to core, which is, you know, one of the biggest things in track is having a very strong and stable core. And then of course, last is just general strength, making sure that everything is toned and strong and ready for competing. As a decathlete, you know, I have to prepare for a very long two days um, with 10 different events. So I feel like doing an extra workout by myself is a way that I can actually get the feeling for having a long day of working out. Today I have class at 11 a.m. And they're, they've all been recorded and they're all online. So there are definitely some pros and cons of having online classes. One of the pros is that I'm able to wake up right before class and get in a Zoom call within two minutes of waking up. Um, that's been really nice and relaxing. However, the cons of it are that you're not in person with a teacher, you know, it doesn't feel like that same environment. And I also miss making friends with regular students I have a great group of friends on the track team, but there's something about going out into different classes and making friends with regular students. Um, but you're going to be doing this at home, so you're going to have to police yourself and not cheat. Then I eat lunch. And then I go to my next class at 1230. So time management has always been a part of my life since I've gotten to school. And I feel like I'm especially able to apply this in my sport as a decathlete. You know, I have to manage my time very well to be able to train 10 events. There's the running aspect, the throwing, the jumping, the hurdling. There's so many different aspects that I need to apply this time management to. All right, so right now we're in eight hour weeks. That means that we can only train eight hours per week. That's just kind of our fall deal, NCAA rule. We'll soon get into 20 hour weeks is when, as a decathlete, I'll start training each of my events. So at UVA, we like to train five events per week. So you know, it could be a few throws, hurdles, a jump, um, but we usually vault on a Saturday when we have a trainer and we get a good practice, a long practice just dedicated to vault because we have a lot of vaulters. So my favorite event definitely is limited down to two events, probably long jump and high jump. Long jump was my first event. Um, I started track when I was about eight years old. I was just thrown in a meet and the long jumping in the 400 um, and I competed pretty well. I qualified for like AAU nationals. So I'd say long jump is my baby. I love it the most. All right, so some quick advice for a high schooler who would like to compete in the decathlon at a D1 school. Um, I would say really just try to hit the form as much as possible. The athleticism will come along, but the form is the most important part. And to get to the Division I level, you know, I see those guys who may not be the best athletes, um, but they've got great technique and they can hang with the really great decathletes.
right, so next on today's agenda, we have our lift. So we've been splitting up our lifts into a little bit shorter period of time. Also because of COVID, we need to clean down all of our stuff, you know, a few minutes before we finish up. Um, so that takes away time from our lifts. Um, but since it is eight hour weeks, we've been lifting three times a week, um, you know, really hitting legs hard, um, a lot of explosive work. And, you know, I think it's really cool how UVA weight program does their stuff is we do a lot of specific base lifting. So as a decathlete, there are several exercises that I do that are very specific for the 10 events that I do. My favorite exercise is definitely squats. They're one of the few exercises that I feel like I really benefit from. You know, when I'm squatting really well, I'm performing really well. Um, and I think that has to do a lot that I am a very explosive athlete. And so squats really make my explosiveness stronger. Um, and so squats are definitely my favorite lifting. One, two, three, boost! So after lift, we end up going to JPJ. JPJ um, used to be a dining hall that we could just athletes sit down, talk to friends. Um, now it's a place that you just grab and go. One great thing about JPJ is that the food is mostly healthy options. So we have a huge variety of different healthy foods that we can pick, you know, lean chicken, fish, lean beef. So there's a lot of protein options, a lot of carbs items, um, you know, salad bar, veggies. Um, for me personally, um, I try to be at a very healthy diet. I'm not saying that I don't um, splurge and you know go off and you know eat cookies every once in a while, um, but I tend to try to stay away from added sugars. Um, I just think they're not a great thing to have in your diet. My diet consists of lots of protein um, and a little carbs per meal, um, and then I really hit veggies hard for dinner. All right, this brings us to the end of my day. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you guys are interested, in the description are all my social media accounts, and thanks for watching.